KVGC News Time is now seven minutes after the hour. Well, topping the news for this Thursday, the 28th day of February, final day of the month of February. We begin the final month of the first quarter tomorrow. Wow, can you believe it already? Well, as the rain showers are decreasing today, the flood warning for small streams in Amador and northwestern Calaveras County will remain until about 11 o'clock tonight. Another Pacific Frontal System is forecast to move on into California tomorrow evening. National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch for the Sierras above 5,500 feet tomorrow evening through late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Now, snow levels will range from 5,500 to 7,000 feet. Total snow accumulations will range anywhere from 10 inches to 2 feet above the 7,000-foot elevation. But the storm that we are looking at is the storm that will follow this weekend. So it'll bring with it uh, an abundance of tropical moisture from Tuesday through Wednesday. Now, there will be substantial rain and a high threat of significant flooding for the mother load because this mild air mass that's associated with the storm will keep the snow levels well above the 8,500-foot elevation. Heavy rain on top of that large snow base could bring some centralized flash flooding, some washed-out roads, washed-out bridges, mudslides, and rock slides, and areas that have recently flooded or normally do flood during heavy rain events could easily flood again. So if you live in a flood-prone area or near streams and rivers, this could be a good time to prepare, maybe even have an evacuation plan in place. This weekend you may want to get some sandbags or get ready because, again, uh, it looks like uh, next week could bring uh, some warm rains, high elevations, causing some uh, Low elevation flooding. Well, the Calaveras Sheriff's Office has released more details involving two recent arrests. In the first case, 62-year-old Ronald Russell of Copperopolis taken into custody. The Copperopolis Sheriff's Substation following a detective investigation into child molestation complaints relating to three young female alleged victims under 10 years of age. Well, Russell was booked into the Calaveras County Jail on charges of lewd or lascivious acts with a child under 14, including by force, attempting to prevent or dissuade a victim witness report, contact with a minor with sexual intent, indecent exposure, and annoying or molesting a child under the age of 18. Officials say since the case is still under investigation, no further details are being released at this time. The Calaveras deputies also recently responded to a residence on Jewel Court in Wilseyville for reports of an attempted assault with a vehicle. Deputies heard following a verbal altercation between 46-year-old John Westfall of West Point and a 49-year-old female resident, Westfall allegedly accelerated his vehicle directly at her while leaving the scene. Deputies located and arrested Westfall on charges of assault with a deadly weapon, not a firearm. Well, as part of pg es mandated enhanced wildfire safety protocol, accelerated inspections are beginning in various locations throughout the mother load. According to pg and spokesperson Brandy Merlot, portions of the foothills are among the areas that uh, uh, you know are at higher uh, wildfire risk. So in addition to the utilities routine electric infrastructure inspections and maintenance programs, there will be more personnel and equipment involved in expanding activities. Now, according to Merlot, in addition to ground and or climbing inspections, the utility will use aerial imagery captured by drones, in some cases helicopters. To the extent possible, when it's safe to do so, Merlot says pg e crews will not de-energize lines for inspections and repairs. And in the event of the need to de-energize the line, the utility will follow its standard planned outage notification process via letter seven days prior to any planned outage through an automated phone call or door hanger. Now, overall, the utility will be inspecting about 50,000 transmission structures across more than uh, 5,500 miles of line and approximately 685 distribution poles across more than 25,000 lines in various high-fire 
threat areas across pg e service territory. Well, Amateur Arts Thursday open mic nights have been put on hold for the time being. The popular free weekly event has featured performers, all levels and ages, taking the stage to express their talents. The Amateur Arts is looking for a new coordinator and MC for the weekly event. If you love all kinds of artistic expression, are a lover of music, visual arts, poetry, storytelling, dance, and the art of working the crowd as the MC, this is right up your alley. If you're interested, call Amateur Arts at 256-8166. Now, Amateur Arts also recently voted two new members to its board of directors, now bringing the number to 16, including three student directors. The nonprofit arts agency in its 38th year welcomed Troy Bowers, CEO of the Amador County Fair, and Farron Holmes to the board. Holmes is the new Amador Arts Volunteer Coordinator as well. For more info on the arts, visit AmadorArts.org. And a new feature to the Jackson Lions Club Dandelion Days Parade is an area for garage and yard sale items. But time is running out. If you want to uh, take part in this this year, the Lions Club decided to kind of get back to their roots and let local folks rent 10 by 10 spaces in the Wells Fargo parking lot for 50 bucks for both days to sell just that, yard sale and garage sale type items. Now, for more details, visit jacksonlionsclub.org. Again, Dandelion Day is coming up the 16th and 17th, so your time to sign up for this is limited. And Volcano Theater Company holding open auditions for James and the Giant Peach. Ten actors are needed, male and female, age 20 to 60, and youth, age 9 to 20. Auditions will be held March 10th and 17th, 2 p.m., March 12th at 6 p.m. at the Cobblestone Theater in Volcano. Production dates for James and the Giant Peach will be June 28th through August 3rd. Scripts are available at the Amador Community Foundation office in the Motherlode Plaza. James and the Giant Peach is sponsored by the St. George Hotel. And that's a look at local news on a gold country. Thursday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day to visit our website. That is kvgcradio.com.